Hello to all my Sagittarius friends. Welcome to your September 1st through 15th, 2019 reading. This is a collective reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This means if you'd like a private reading for your personal energy, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. It's right here at the top. And I will be more than happy to assist you once you've booked your appointment. With that, we will move forward. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for assisting all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you for your divine guidance and all of these wonderful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are meant. We thank you for your energy as well. Your presence here is always welcome and very appreciated. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we have going on. We're going to start with the Page of Pentacles, which is a nice welcome. This is an offer, uh, maybe a financial commitment of some kind, or it can be an actual commitment of time with someone else. Looks like an offer. So this is a Four of Cups coming in, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. Of course, we wouldn't be doing anything if we weren't worried about it, right? <laughs> How everything is. We ask for it. We, we, we wait for it. It shows up and we get into fear. So here is the Ten of Wands in the relationship, love life, and spiritual life. The Five of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Then we have Career and Finance with the Eight of Cups. The Hierophant. And the Hermit. So this is definitely some of you talking about a new job here. Um, there's an ending to something moving forward. Definitely heading in a new direction. Your underlier is the Three of Wands. The underlier is the bottom card of the deck. This is the connective tissue sort of to the whole thing. It makes the whole thing kind of wrap around that one energy of change. So let's talk about somebody's trying to give you some money. So this is a messenger coming in to either tell you how much they're offering to pay or uh, what they can guarantee, okay? They're having a discussion with you. And you're like, yeah, this doesn't look like I thought it would look. So let's uh, remember the old adage, look at a gift horse in the mouth. Do you see where that hand is coming from? This ain't just any old cup, y'all. <laughs> this, this is a blessing coming down from the heavens just because it's not wrapped in the paper you would like for it to be or it's not coming dressed the way you want it to be dressed doesn't mean it's not for you these cups on the ground sure they have merit and you go well I already have three cups just like that no you don't those are your cups those are in the natural this is a supernatural cup don't dismiss it without checking it out always investigate the high priestess is your higher self, now this is tied to this card, allowing yourself to not see with your natural eyes. She's got her eyes closed. She's using her inner guidance, her intuition, and she's letting the universe do the driving. She's saying, I am willing to allow and trust that I will be taken in the right direction. This is being in the energetic flow of the universe, being moved when you're asked to be moved. There are so many examples in so many different religions about giving over what you, what your concept in your mind is of success. Sometimes it's different than what you could imagine because your mind is limited. The universe is not. And here we go. Oh, should I have done that? Is this the right move? Is this the right thing? This is being in fear. Nine of Swords can also be a pretty good anxiety attack. This is when we get all caught up in what we imagine rather than what's a fact, okay? And I'm talking about worst case scenario imagine. This is not this. Let's, let's have this conversation. She's imagining her best possible outcome. I'm going to move it over because that's the way they came out. I'm imagining my best possible outcome. I'm receiving it. I'm being elevated and taken toward it. I'm drawing myself to it. Magnetic energy is carrying me forward. And I'm not fighting or resisting it. If this isn't resistance, look at how her arms are crossed across her chest. 
She's shielding herself from it. And these are all mental swords coming at the whole, trying to cut it to ribbons. So this is completely opposite energy. This is not productive. Fear, remember the acronym? False energy appearing real or false evidence appearing real. Okay? Don't allow yourself to fall for that trick. Fear is, is useful when you're running for your life. But just overthinking something and letting yourself go down a rabbit hole of negativity is not productive. So, relationships, love life, and spiritual life. Now, first of all, these are the rods, which is your Sagittarian energy. This also is a work energy because he's literally lugging these rods down across this field. Uh, Back-breaking work. You can see he's just almost fallen to the ground. The good news is it's a 10. 10 means we're at the end of a cycle. This is the burden being lifted. So if you're in a relationship that's been just an absolute struggle, this is about to go away. Now, I'm not saying that you have to leave the person. I'm just saying somewhere something's got to give and we have to stop this kind of energy. Now, if it's a job, this is because you are so focused on just making sure you get your next paycheck. You are putting up with whatever they dish out. And it's going to exhaust you. And this is where something else new is coming. And you get to let that go. Now even though this is a wonderful new thing. Okay. <laughs> this is the three cups that you previously had. Okay. So if you want to want to do a comparison. Here's the three cups, and you're going, but I have three cups, and this is saying, but you won't for long. Here's the three cups now used up. I'm trying to give you this cup. There's some, this is the universe that's going, okay, well, I'm going to put these back here for you. I'm trying to offer you. So two, the, one of these is worth two of these. So you can do it in your own power if you want and have to pull through, or you can allow the universe to assist you. Now, if you are in a place of, pity party okay it's saying don't linger there because you don't have much time this is this is your this is your uh, sustenance to get you to the next thing don't don't fitter it away okay page of cups this is something holding so you may not have told people what's going on here sometimes this happens uh in a situation where you're not proud of how it's going sometimes we get ashamed when we f feel like we're the failure right of a uh, I know that when I had a divorce I felt like I had somehow it was my fault I should have made it work I, and, and you feel ashamed that it that it didn't work somehow you weren't strong enough to make it work and sometimes if we lose a job or if we're in a in a pinch uh, financially we start to have uh, the the guilt and not want to tell people what's really happening. And then you end up, if, you'd, if, if they've known about it, your friends would have helped you. Your family would have helped you. So guilt and shame do not serve you. I just want to, somebody I'm speaking to directly on this is trying to hide the fact that they're in need and they're too ashamed to tell anyone. Um, I don't, this is not for all of you. This is a general reading. So, but somebody, I'm getting a real strong image of it. They're sitting there in a place of need and that there is help to be had. But it's all about stepping away from your pride and letting people see you be vulnerable. Everybody needs help sometimes. Okay? You're not a beggar. You just need a little bit of help. So we're going to move forward to whoever I'm talking to. Eight of Cups. Beautiful energy of asking for a new thing, a new beginning. You're asking the universe. You're saying, okay, I am ready now. I'm ready to move forward. I'm, I'm ready to do it. And the universe heard you. Now, this doesn't mean that it happened after this came out. It means it happened before. At some point, you asked for a change. You wanted something better. And the universe is showing you the horizon. Okay? Remember, it's always listening. It's all about energy exchange. And this, my darling, is the beautiful horizon. 
This is a hierophant. New job coming through. Being accepted. This is a large corporation or government entity. It can be a hospital, a school, a university. And this is you being very focused on your path. You're like, okay, let's now we're going to start again from the beginning again. But it's okay. You're starting again. We do this many times in life. Everyone has that cycle they have to go through. Nobody gets it right the first try. Okay? Now, we're going to do our clarifiers. And we're going to move forward with what, what's on the outcome of this. So, thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings. Look at that. And beautiful messages. We receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance, and your energy is always welcome here and very appreciated. Ten of Cups. The Strength card, the King of Rods, King of Pentacles, loving the money, that's the money, Temperance, the Archangel Uriel, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tide is Changing, Ten of Swords, letting go of your pride, allowing yourself to ask for help. Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Nine of Pentacles, we're in the money. That's the Garden of Eden card. And the Five of Swords. Now, I just want to say, the entire time I've been talking, I have, you can't see them, but I have entire goosebumps going up this side of my arm. Like hard goosebumps, not like a little wave. They're still there. The entire time I was praying and talking, my skin is just raised just right here so it's letting me know it's I'm, I'm definitely connected for somebody this is going to ring true so again here comes so you wouldn't accept the offer from the hand but you will accept the offer from a person so sometimes we can be led to a place but until we get it from the right perspective we don't see it as a real offer this is a real offer. And this isn't accepting it because this is the Ten of Cups. So, here's the conversation about the money. And you go, oh my God, that is going to make my whole life better. My whole, this is what I've been trying to do forever. This is my goal. Ten of Cups is the completion of a cycle in the best possible way. So, this is little page is coming in to talk to you and negotiate with you. Now, some of you may be talking about the sale or purchase of a house. I feel real strongly for somebody. This is about a job. Now, we have this, this moment of an offer and we're like, yeah, I'm not sure that's the one for me. But it is divine, so check it out. You have the strength card here, which is... A the dynamic uh, major arcana sign for Leo. It is also the archangel Ariel. Ariel is known as the Lion of God. And Ariel is loyal to a fault. Loyal beyond its own life. Okay, will throw itself in front of you to keep anything from stopping you from reaching your goal. Then we have the High Priestess, which is letting the universe dictate what your goal is and, and know that it's bigger than you could ever ask for. The universe is the, the divine spirit, the connection to that. That's what brought us here. So letting the universe guide you, it will never steer you wrong. King of Rods, realizing your potential, okay? So this is the, the beautiful energy of Sagittarius. This king here. And it's also got this lion here. So you've got the lion beside this woman. This pa this uh, uh, maiden. And this king. So you have the loyalty. Here's your fear. Sometimes we have to feel the fear and do it anyway. And this is one of those times. Here's the king of pentacles. And he's not gripping the money. Like he's not holding it like here I've got it. But you can't take it. I can pull it back. 
He's offering it. See, his hand is open. Can you see that? His fingers are in a place of offering. He's doing this. Okay? So, that's amazing. And it is a real, legit thing. So, the fear is unfounded. Here we have the Ten of Rods, which is releasing the burden. We're going for this last load, and we get to drop it and let it go and move forward and, and straighten up and walk in, like an upright human being without feeling the heavy burden. The heaviness is going away. Temperance is telling you, we're working things out in your favor. This is the uh, number one, really important, the major arcana for Sagittarius. Temperance is the major arcana for Sagittarius. Your energy is showing up here. It also means the Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the keeper of divine thought, action, and circumstance. And this is the universe doing its alchemy to lay everything out to where you just go step, 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 step. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to worry. It falls into your lap. Loving this. So allow, don't take, here, mm, my guides just said, here we go. They're having a whole conversation. Um, okay. So, you can do it in your strength, which is a whole lot of work. Or you can do it in the universe's strength, in God's strength, in divine spirit's strength. Divine spirit is it's nothing. It's like flicking a, a little bug. For you, it's an entire break your back scenario, right? This is so much easier if you let the universe help you. For that stubborn person that I'm talking to that's hiding the fact that they need help. Now, we have the five, you know who I'm talking to. The five of cups here, which is having a pity party, worrying about what you're going to do next. And you know you're limited to what, what you've got behind you, but you're not really getting up to move forward. So, before long, you'll have used up all the cups if you keep sitting in this spot, okay? Okay. Get up and let's get to moving. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Wheel of Fortune. The breakthrough is here. This is all the karmic debt from many lifetimes being removed from your path. That means all red lights turn green. All systems go. Let's get it, get it. And those of you who watch that specific show know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Page of Cups, holding it to your chest. And this is where we end up if we don't accept help from others. Yes, you'll get to start over, but you get to start over from flat on your face. Okay? So, you got two tens here telling you this is a cycle that's ending. You can take the burden on yourself or you can ask for help. The universe is here to offer the help. Please know... It's going to be a difference anyway. You're going to have to go to this point. This is bottom of the barrel. This is hitting rock bottom. Okay? So be sure you reach out when you need it. Because it's a whole lot easier when someone else offers you a hand. You're not going to need it forever. It's not like you're being a mooch. Okay? And people who love you are always happy to help you. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. The new beginning, walking away into your future with the blessing of the universe. Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy of divine blessing and it's the Holy Grail. This is the elixir of life. This is restoration of all things. Physical, emotional, mental, okay? And financial. This is a very spiritual energy and it is a yes from the universe. So you've got all of these people trying to help you. This King of Pentacles also could be someone trying to offer you help financially. And that's why, that's, oh, 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 let's rewind. Whoever it is I'm talking to about this cup, you're refusing the help because you feel like it's not, it's your pride. That's the strength card is that lion's pride. Don't let your pride be your undoing. We're all here for a purpose and we all have weaknesses. We all have issues. Okay, so that just came through from my people. 
They just told me about that one. They referred me back to that card. Here it is again from the universe. And by God, you need to take that cup. <laughs> this, this cup is showing up and just showing up and showing up. So here's the Hierophant, uh, the job offer. There's the cup being extended. The Nine of Pentacles is the Garden of Eden and being provided for in a high fashion. Okay, does she look like she's hungry or, or with lack? No, she does not. Because she is allowing the universe to provide for her. That's the universe providing for you. It's trying to do that. Take the cup. The hermit is going within and allowing yourself to get back to center and focused. Being on your path. Getting your light back into full view so you can actually see ahead of you. And this, my dears, is the Five of Swords. So this may be someone in your life who's kind of a naysayer or someone who's kind of a dream killer, which also may be why you're holding something because you don't want to hear their negativity um, and you don't want to tell them what's happening. Um, you know, holding something in and having to deal with all of that drama is not nearly as is it's way more bad than or may, way way more difficult and way more exhausting than just saying the truth and telling them and going you know what I don't care what you say it could happen to you too this is this has happened to me and I'm not ashamed of myself stand up to them don't allow them to to uh, deflate you with that five of swords because they're only going to make themselves look like a turd so. You just keep walking forward. This may be somebody you used to work with or somebody who's a, a family member that's just been a complete uh, narcissist and likes to go around spouting off stuff. This person has got a real, like a Napoleon complex, whoever this is. They have to feel like they're superior to everyone. That one person doesn't deserve you to suffer because you're afraid for them to know. So... I know it sounds like I'm talking to, to... I don't know who I'm talking to, but... This is the cup is coming every time over and over and over again. And you can move past this. Don't try to hide what's happening. It'll help you heal if you expose it. It's like letting the sunlight in um, and, and the darkness goes away, right? So I wish you all many blessings. This is very abundant for who, I'm, who I was talking to earlier. That's a specific group of people that are going through something. But this, this is the beautiful temperance, the, the wheel of fortune, the king of pentacles, the ace of cups, the hierophant, the nine of pentacles. This is, and the ten of cups, I mean, good lord. And the high priestess, and the king of rods, which is your beautiful Sagittarian energy. So is that temperance, your, your Sagittarian. So, this is a really great reading other than the person that's not letting it out. So let that out, whoever you are. Many blessings. Don't try to hold things in. It just turns toxic. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'll talk to you again in the middle of September. Namaste.